I was fortunate enough to start in the graduate program at CSL. Um, what this program is, is it's a roughly two year rotational program when you get to rotate through different avenues of the business. I started in the manufacturing, I did some data science, but I ended up in the end in R&D and I really found my passion in R&D, which is where I currently am at the moment. CSL is all about personal growth at the end of the day. And I think in the graduate program, you sort of get a little bit, you get a bit of an accelerated timeline of that. You're thrown in the deep end, you're given a great support network, but at the same time, you are asked to figure things out. And that, for me at least, is really fun. I've been very fortunate, having come through the grad program, to have had exposure to a variety of different teams in the business. The people you meet, it's, it's all about how do we get the best outcomes for the patients? How do we make sure we have the safest, most efficacious products out there? The culture is always about continuous optimization, continuous growth of the business, but also of yourself and of your teams that you're in. Promising futures means a dialogue. And it's a dialogue that I have engaged in many times at CSL. And it's how can I help CSL, but also at the same time, how can I continue to learn, continue to grow, and continue to get exposure to new ideas that really would help round me out as someone working in the pharmaceutical industry. We can't just do the same thing all the time. We need to have the ability to explore, to try new things, uh, and to try new technologies. And being in research and development, you have that opportunity day in, day out. CSL really has, in my career, fostered that ability to explore, but that's what Promising Futures is for me. It's that handshake between you and CSL.